bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Family Vision Care proudly introduces eye exam technology for the entire family. OCT uses light waves to take cross-section pictures of the retina. With OCT, the doctors can see each of the retina's distinctive layers. OptoMap allows the doctor to capture more than 80% of the retina in one panoramic image. These technologies assist the doctors in detecting signs of eye disease and abnormalities earlier, or confirming that the retina is normal and healthy. The Doctors of Family Vision Care and the Wink Gallery, proud to support programs on WIPB-TV. The 2019 WIPB-TV Spelling Bee, presented by Family Vision Care and Mutual Bank, with support from Ball State University Teachers College. Additional funding provided by Avila Orthodontics, Voice Systems, Dr. Leland C. Wilhoy, DDS, and Navient. Good morning and welcome to the 2019 WIPB TV Spelling Bee! We are so excited to be coming to you live from Sursa Performance Hall on the campus of Ball State University. Today's bee will showcase the talents of our 50 finalists vying for the title of the WIPB Spelling Bee Champion and the honor of competing at the 2019 Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. Hi, I'm Michelle Kinsey, Community Engagement and Grants Manager at WIPB and your host for today's event. We want to take a minute to thank all of the parents, families, teachers, and school administrators who have joined us in the audience today. Give yourselves a hand. Everyone has worked so hard and it is with the help of all of you that our spellers have gotten this far. During January and February, schools from Blackford, Delaware, Henry, Jay, Madison, and Randolph counties held their individual spelling bees. More than 700 students in second through eighth grade competed to become their school champion. After long hours of studying and competing, we have the top 50 spellers on stage today representing those schools. And of those 50, we have 12 spellers returning to represent their schools for the WIPB TV Spelling Bee this year. The four people whose task it is to make sure the bee runs smoothly are the officials who will be presiding over this morning's competition. Let's meet them now. First, I am pleased to introduce you to your pronouncer, Lynn Stallings. Lynn is an associate professor in the English department at Ball State University and has taught there for more than 12 years. Lynn teaches graduate and undergraduate courses in introductory linguistics, linguistics for educators, and TESOL methods and research. Our judges for today's spelling bee are Stephanie Weekman and Monique Armstrong. Stephanie is a familiar voice to East Central Indiana as she has been with Indiana Public Radio for more than 11 years and is the host of All Things Considered. She spent many years serving with Muncie Young Professionals and Ball State's Freshman Connections Common Reader Committee. Monique Armstrong is the Assistant Director of Community Development for the City of Muncie and a nonprofit consultant. She previously was the Executive Director of Motivate Our Minds for 10 years. Monique is an Athena International Young Professional Leadership Award winner and a Ball Brothers Foundation Fellow. Our recorder for today is Kamna Agarwal. Kamna is an occupational therapist and a certified hand therapist. She has always been fascinated by the English language because she learned it as a sophomore in high school. She has enjoyed coaching both of her children through years of spelling bees. Thanks to all of our judges for being here this morning. Now, here's a brief look at what will happen as our spellers approach the microphone to spell their words. All the words used in today's spelling bee are from the 2019 Spell It and from Merriam-Webster Unabridged the official dictionary of the Scripps National Spelling Bee. The pronouncer will say the word. Spellers are encouraged to repeat the word to ensure that the word was heard correctly. The speller may ask the pronouncer to say the word again, define the word, use the word in a sentence, 
provide the part of speech, provide the language or languages of origin, or provide any alternate pronunciations. If a word has one or more homonyms, the pronouncer will indicate which word is to be spelled by defining the word. A speller may stop and start a word over, but there can be no change of letters or their sequence from what was first pronounced. For a complete list of rules and procedures, please visit wipb.org wipb-spelling-b. One of these fantastic young spellers you see on stage will be our WIPB TV Spelling Bee Champion at the end of today and will receive a wonderful prize package which includes that trip to the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Let's take a look. The 2019 WIPB TV Spelling Bee Champion will receive an expenses paid trip to the Scripps National Spelling Bee near Washington, D.C. for themselves and a parent. In addition, the winner receives the WIPB TV Spelling Bee Championship Trophy, a one-year subscription to Merriam-Webster Unabridged Online, the Samuel Lewis Sugarman Award, consisting of a 2019 United States Mint Proof Set, a one-year membership to Britannica Online Premium, and other local awards. Okay. Now, if our judges and pronouncer are ready, yes, I'm getting a signal. Yes, they are ready. And our spellers are ready. Spellers, you ready? All right. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up there. All right, let's begin the 2019 WIPB TV Spelling Bee. Our first speller is Erin Lord from Monroe Central Elementary School. All right, good morning. Your word is barley. Barley, B-A-R-L-E-Y, barley. Our next speller is Brandon Eisler from Delta Middle School. Hi. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is opera. It is a noun, and it means a drama in which music is the essential factor comprising songs with orchestral accompaniment and orchestral preludes and interludes. Opera, O-P-E-R-A, opera. Speller number three is Liam Jenkins from Yorktown Elementary School. This word has a homonym. Your word is dairy. It is a noun and it means a room, building, or establishment where milk is kept and butter or cheese is made. Dairy, D-A-R-Y, dairy. The correct spelling is D-A-I-R-Y. Speller four from Cowan Elementary School, it's Oren Barnell. Your word is reckless. Reckless, R-E-C-K-L-E-S-S, -S. reckless. Speller number five is Riley Dunica from Northside Elementary School. This word has a homonym. The word is tutu. It is a noun and it means a very short projecting skirt worn by a ballet dancer. Tutu, T-U-T-U, tutu. Speller number six is Madison Henderson from Montpelier Elementary School. Your word is stringy. Stringy. S-T-R-I-N-G-Y, stringy. Speller number seven from Selma Middle School, it's Cody Lingenfelter. Okay. Your word is muddle. Muddle. M-U-D-D-L-E. Speller number eight is Victor Garrett from Cowan High School. Your word is womanly. Uh, can I get a definition? Sure. Possessed of the character or behavior befitting a grown female human being. Womanly. W-O-M-A-N-L-Y. <coughs> Speller 9, Olivia Marshall from Eaton Elementary School. 
Your word is magazine. Magazine. M A G I Z I N E. Magazine. The correct spelling is M A G A Z I N E. Our next speller is speller 10, and that's Kayla Donald from Eastside Elementary School. Your word is broadleaf. Broadleaf? Broadleaf. B R O A D L E A F, broadleaf. Mm -hmm. Speller 11 from Willard Elementary School is Aiden Mendenhall. Your word is massage. Massage. M A S S A G E, massage. Mm -hmm. Speller 12 is Tegan Jones from West Dell Elementary School. Okay. Your word is anvil. Can you please use that in a sentence? Yes, I can. The blacksmith shaped and flattened the horseshoe on his anvil. Anvil. A N V E L. Anvil. The correct spelling is A N V I L. Speller 13 is Alicia Rathanasamy <coughs> from Burris Laboratory School. Your word is sable. Sable. Can I have the definition? Sure. A carnivorous mammal of northern Europe and parts of northern Asia that attains a length of about 18 inches exclusive of the tail and is one of the most valued of fur-bearing animals, especially for its very dark skin. Sable, can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Slavic to German to French. Can you repeat the word? Sable. Sable. S-A-B-L-E. Sable. Yep. Speller 14 is Reed Wicker from Union Elementary School. Your word is topical. Could you use it in a sense? Sure. The label warns that the cream is designed for topical use only. Topical. T O P I C A L. <laughs> Speller. <laughs> Speller 15 is Jordan Bainter from Blue River Valley Elementary School. Okay. Your word is kith. Kith, K-I-T-H, Kith. There you go. Speller 16, Ava Scholes from Daleville Elementary School. Okay. Your word is way wiser. Uh, repeat it, please. Way wiser. Way wiser. W-A-Y-W-I-S-E-R, way wiser. Speller 17 from Northside Elementary School. It's Vanderlei Burkett. Okay. Your word is honcho. Honcho. Mm -hmm. H A U N C H O. Honcho. The correct spelling is H O N C H O. Speller 18 is Isaiah Schlenker from Homeschool Explorers. Your word is brackish. Repeat. Brackish. Brackish. B R A C K I S H. Brackish. Speller 19 from Frankton Elementary School. It's Braxton Mort. Okay. Your word is average. Average. A V E R A G E. Average. <coughs> Speller 21 is Blake Kalig from East Jay County Middle School. Okay. Your word is walrus. Walrus. W A L R U S. Walrus. Speller 22, Preston <coughs> Pulley from Alexandria Monroe Intermediate School. Your word is mohair. Can you repeat the word? 
Mohair. Mohair. M O H A I R. Mohair. Yep. Speller 23, Sean Hathcote from East Elementary School. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is scow. It is a noun and it means a large, flat bottomed boat with broad square ends that is used chiefly for transporting sand, gravel, or refuse. Can I have the language of origin, please? This is a word from Dutch. Scow. S C A U L. Scow. The correct spelling is S C O W. Our next speller, speller 24 from St. Mary's School, is Marin Allen. Okay. Your word is gospel. Please use gospel in a sentence. Yes. Father Thomas preached the gospel in church every Sunday. Gospel. G O S P E L. Gospel. Speller 25 from Anderson Christian School, it's Lily McIntyre. Your word is bonanza. Bonanza. B A N A N Z A. The correct spelling is B O N A N Z A. Speller 26 is Ashton Creamer Lane from Heritage Hall Christian Middle School. Your word is mongoose. Mongoose. <clears throat> M O N. G O O S E. Mongoose. Speller 28 is Anna Chapel from Liberty Christian Elementary School. Your word is orchard. Orchard. O R C H A R D. Orchard. Kirsten McNeil is speller number 29, and she's from Highland Middle School. Okay. Your word is foist. Foist. F-O-I-S-T. Foist. Mm -hmm. Speller 30 is Grant Linville, and he's from General Shanks Elementary School. Your word is vanilla. Vanilla. V-A-N-I-L-L-A. -L -L vanilla. Speller 31 is Shay Punzal from St. Mary School. Your word is crimson. Crimson. C R I M S O N. Crimson. Speller 32 is Chloe Wicker from Union Junior Senior High School. Your word is Netherlander. Netherlander. N-E-T-H-E-R-L-A-N-D-E-R, -E -E Netherlander. Mm -hmm. Speller 33 is Sergio Diaz from Heritage Hall Christian Elementary School. Okay. Your word is dogma. Repeat. Dogma. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The dogma of papal infallibility on spiritual matters marks one of the greatest differences between the Catholic and Protestant churches. Dogma, D-O-G-M-A. Speller 34 is Savannah Hammond from Red Key Elementary School. Your word is zenith. Zenith. Z E N I E T H, Zenith. The correct spelling is Z E N I T H. Speller 35 is Nicholas Lau from Bloomfield Elementary School. Hi. Your word is electoral. Electoral. E L E C. T R I A L, electoral. The correct spelling is E L E C T O R A L. 
Speller 36 from Yorktown Middle School, it's Mahathi Raju. Your word is cosmetic. Cosmetic, C-O-S-M-E-T-I-C, -E cosmetic. Speller 37 is Sophia Hess from Northview Elementary School. This word has a homonym. The word is Kona. It's a noun and it means a storm of southerly or southwesterly winds and heavy rains in Hawaii. Kona. C-O-N-A, Kona. The correct spelling is K-O-N-A. Speller 38 from Albany Elementary School, it's Peyton Engel. Okay. Your word is behest. Can you repeat the word? Yeah, behest. Behest, B-A-H-H-E-S-T. The correct spelling is B-E-H-E-S-T. Speller 39 from Northside Middle School, it's Charles Graham. Okay. Your word is condor. Condor, C-O-N-D-O-R, condor. Speller 40 from Longfellow Elementary School, it's Kayla Shaw. Okay. Your word is aquatic. Aquatic, A-Q-U-A-C-I-T. The correct spelling is A-Q-U-A-T-I-C. Speller 41 is Julius Fields from West Lawn Elementary School. Your word is safari. Safari, S-A-F-A-R-I, safari. Speller 42, Trooper Bullock from Westdale Junior Senior High School. Your word is rucksack. Rucksack, R-U-C-K-S-A-C-K. -C -C -K. Speller 43 from West Jay County Middle School, it's Dylan Barnes Plessinger. Your word is dearth. Dearth, D-I-R-T-H, dearth. <coughs> The correct spelling is D-E-A-R-T-H. Speller 44 is Jocelyn Mitchell from Royerton Elementary School. Your word is nosh. Nosh, N-O-S-H, nosh. <clears throat> Speller 46 from Deerfield Elementary School, Mariana Flores Santos. Okay. Your word is cockatoo. Cockatoo, C-O-C-K-A-T-O-O. -O. Speller 47, it's Mela Cole from Southside Middle School. Your word is Aspen. Aspen, A-S-P-E-N, Aspen. Speller 49, from Lee L. Driver Middle School, it's Andrew Tony. Your word is geothermal. Geothermal, G-E-O-T-H-E-R-M-A-L, geothermal. Mm -hmm. Speller 50, Jaden Sorrell from Maple Ridge Elementary School. Your word is powwow. Powwow, P-O-W-W-O-W. Speller 51, Preston Shockley from Southview Elementary School. Your word is gravel. 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 G-R-A-B-B-L-E. Speller 52 from Pendleton Elementary School is Gavin Yarger. Okay. Your word is Bambino. Bambino. B-A-M-B-I-N-O. Bambino. Speller 53 is Katiana Quate from Westview Elementary School. 
All right, word number 50, your word is crescent. Crescent. C-R-O-S-S-A-I-N-T. The correct spelling is C-R-E-S-C-E-N-T. <clears throat> Speller 54 from East Washington Academy. It's Jace Burkhart. Your word is grotto. Grotto. G-R-O-D-O. -O. Grotto. The correct spelling is G-R-O-T-T-O. -T -T Speller 55 from Burris Laboratory Elementary School, William Villaluz. Your word is Dracula. Can I have the definition? Sure. Uh, one who maintains a relationship like that of a vampire toward another by sapping his or her physical or emotional strength. Dracula. D-R-A-C-U-L-A. -A. Dracula. All right, let's hear it for all of our spellers at the end of round one. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful, great job, Spellers. We are going to move right on to round two. Let's go, Spellers. I don't know why I did. I think because I had a circle. Oops. Oh, well. Your word is caboose. Caboose. C A B O O S E. Caboose. Your word is Belladonna. Belladonna. Yes. <clears throat> B E L L A D O N N A. <clears throat> Your word is embargo. Um, can you repeat that? Embargo. Embargo. E M B A R G O T. The correct spelling is E M B A R G O. This word has a homonym. The word is hurdle. It's a noun, and it means an artificial barrier over which humans or horses leap in the race. Hurdle. H-U-R-D-L-E, hurdle. Your word is jovial. Jovial. J-O-V-I-A-L, jovial. Your word is coyote. Coyote. C-O-Y-O-T-E. Your word is mahi-mahi. Uh, can I get a definition? Yeah. A colorful, iridescent saltwater fish that is widely distributed in tropical and temperate seas and is used for food. Can I get an uh, alternate pronunciation? The alternate, uh, there is no alternate pronunciation. Mahi Mahi. M A H I M A H I. Your word is cummerbund. Cummerbund. C U M E R. B U N D Cummerbund. The correct spelling is C U M M E R B U N D. Your word is discipline. Discipline. D I S C I P L E N. The correct spelling is D-I-S-C-I-P-L-I-N-E. Your word is sumo. 
Sumo, can I have the language of origin? It's a word from Japanese. Can I have the definition? Yep. A Japanese form of wrestling in which a contestant loses the match if he is forced out of the ring or if any part of his body except his feet touches the ground. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Can you repeat the word? Sumo. Sumo. S-U-M-O. Sumo. Your word is falsetto. Because you say it says. Yes. Dad draped a mop over his head and sang Mary Had a Little Lamb in falsetto. F A L S E T T O. <clears throat> Your word is igneous. Will you use it in a sentence? Of course. Obsidian is one kind of igneous rock. Igneous. I G N E O U S. Igneous. Your word is diatribe. Can you repeat it? Diatribe. One more time. Diatribe. D-I-A-T-R-I-B-E, diatribe. Your word is beige. Beige. B-A-I-S-E. Okay. The correct spelling is B-E-I-G-E. -E. Your word is predicate. Predicate. P-R-E-D-I-C-A-T-E, -E. predicate. Your word is henna. Henna. H-E-N-N-A. Henna. Your word is Olympian. Olympian. O-L-Y-M-P-I-A-N. Olympian. Your word is saxophone. May you please repeat saxophone? Saxophone. Saxophone. Mm -hmm. S-A-X-O-P-H-O-N-E. Saxophone. Yep. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is Hector. It is a verb, and it means to harass, intimidate, bully, or domineer over by bluster, scolding, or personal pressure. Hector. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah. <clears throat> Some seniors hector the underclassmen on the first day of school. Hector. H E C. T-O-R, Hector. <clears throat> Your word is Islamic. Islamic. I S L A M I C, Islamic. Mm -hmm. Your word is Sierra. Sierra, mm -hmm. S I E R R A, Sierra. Mm -hmm. 
Your word is green gauge. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. For dessert, Charlene had sliced green gauge in syrup. Can I have a definition? Yes. Any of several rather small, rounded, greenish or greenish yellow cultivated plums of European origin grown chiefly for their superior dessert quality. Can you repeat the word? Green gauge. Green gauge. G R E E N G U A G E. Green gauge. <clears throat> the crap spelling is G R E E N G A G E. <clears throat> Your word is dynamic. Dynamic. <clears throat> D-Y-N-A-M-I-C. Dynamic. This word has a homonym. The word is alligator. It's a noun, and it means either of two animals having a hard protective case comprising the genus alligator and having a broad head not tapering to the snout and being in general much more sluggish than the typical crocodiles. Alligator, A-L-L-I-G-A-T-O-R. This word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is guitar. It is a noun and it means a flat bodied stringed instrument with a long fretted neck and usually six strings played with a pick or plucked with the fingers. Guitar. G U I T A R. Guitar. Your word is linden. Linden, L-I-N-D-E-N, -E linden. Mm -hmm. Your word is herbivore. Herbivore, H-E-R-B-I-V-O-R-E, -E. herbivore. Mm -hmm. Your word is gristle. Gristle. G-R-I-S-S-E-L, gristle. The correct spelling is G-R-I-S-T-L-E. This word has a homonym. The word is ramen. It is a noun and it means quick cooking egg noodles usually served in a broth with bits of meat and vegetables, ramen. Ramen, R-A-M-E-N. Your word is expertise. Expertise, E-X-P-E-R-T-I-S-E. -E. Your word is agnostic. Agnostic? Agnostic. Agnostic. A G N O S T I C. Your word is hustings. May I please have the definition? Yes. An election platform, a place or occasion for political public speaking. Hustings, H-U-S-T-I-N-G-S, Hustings. Your word is irony. Irony, I-R-O-N-Y, irony. Mm -hmm. 
This word has a near homonym. The word is lucid. It is an adjective and it means having, manifesting, or marked by full use of one's faculties. Oriented, rational, sane. Lucid, L-U-C-I-D, lucid. <clears throat> Your word is catkin. Catkin? Catkin. Catkin? Catkin. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Pollen from the catkin grace picked from the willow bush stained her fingers yellow. C A T K I N. Your word is bequeath. Bequeath. B E Q U E A T H. Bequeath. Your word is potash. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah, Fred indicated, oh no, sorry, excuse me. In colonial days, potash was used to make soup. Potash, P-O-T-A-S-H, potash. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, let's hear it for our spellers. <laughs> we will get back to the action in just a moment, but first we're gonna thank a few of our awesome sponsors starting with Mutual Bank. Presenting sponsor Mutual Bank has been a huge supporter of education programs in the community and with WIPB TV and continues their sponsorship of the WIPB Spelling Bee. Mutual Bank offers many banking tools on their website, bankwithmutual.com and the Mutual Bank mobile app. Thank you, Mutual. Voice Systems was founded in 1899 in Muncie as a book binding, printing, and accounting forms business. Today, Voice Systems includes voice form. For school corporations throughout the state, Keystone focuses on accounting management for cities, towns, libraries, and utilities. At voicesystems.com, there is information about Computrol and Keystone software. Voice Systems is proud to support programs on WIPB. Ball State's Teachers College prepares students for success in the field of education from classroom teachers to counselors to school administrators. Our mission is the excellent preparation of tomorrow's teachers and the enhancement of skills of today's education professionals through classroom training and meaningful experiential and immersive learning. Learn more about the many undergraduate and graduate programs at bsu.edu slash teachers. Dr. Avila and his staff are committed to providing their patients orthodontic results with a great experience. Dr. Avila is also committed to providing support for health and educational activities in the community. With offices in Anderson and Muncie, thank you Dr. Avila from all of us at WIPB TV. All right, well we are waiting for the judges to get ready, are they ready? It looks like we are ready and we are going to get ready to begin round three. We are ready for round three, so spellers line up. Let's see, where are we? Okay. Get ready. All right. Everybody ready to go? Super. <laughs> All right. Your word is animosity. Definition? Yes. Ill will or resentment tending toward hostile action, smoldering enmity. Animosity, A-N-I-M-O-S-I-T-Y, animosity. Your word is transect. Transect, could you use it in a sentence? Yes. Several earthquake fault lines transect the region around San Francisco. 
transect, T R A N S E C T, transect. Mm -hmm. Your word is inferno. Inferno, I N F E R N O, inferno. Your word is hosta. Hosta. H O S T A. Hosta. This word has a homonym. The word is clabbered. It's a noun and it means a narrow board that is usually thicker at one edge than the other and is used for weatherboarding outside walls. Can you repeat the word, please? Clabbered. Clabber. Clabbered. Clabbered. Mm -hmm. C-L-A-B-B-E-R-D. The correct spelling is C-L-A-P-B-O-A-R-D. Your word is stoic. Can I get a definition? Mm -hmm. Not affected by passion or feeling, especially manifesting indifference to pleasure or pain. Stoic, S-T-O-I-C. Your word is portfolio. Portfolio, can I have the definition? Yes, a flat portable case for carrying papers or drawings. Can I have the language of origin? This word came from Italian, which formed it from a Latin word. Can you repeat the word? Portfolio. Portfolio. P-O-R-T-F-O-L-I-O. -O. Portfolio. <clears throat> This word has a homonym. The word is hawthorn. It's a noun and it means a spring flowering shrub or tree having usually thorny branches, white or pink fragrant flowers, and small red fruits. Could you say it again? Hawthorn. H O T. H-O-R-N. The correct <laughs> spelling is H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N. Your word is plateau. Will you use in a sentence? Yes. The Columbia Lava Plateau is located in Eastern, Wa Eastern Washington and Oregon. Plateau, P-L-A-T-O, plateau. The correct spelling is P-L-A-T-E-A-U. Yeah. Your word is shogun. Shogun, mm -hmm. S-H-O-G-U-N, shogun. Your word is temporal. Temporal. T E M P E R A L. Temporal. The correct spelling is T E M P O R A L. Your word is Sputnik. Sputnik. S P U T N I C K. Sputnik. The correct spelling is S P U T N I K. Your word is haiku. Can you please repeat the word? Haiku. Can you use it in a sentence? I'm sorry? Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. 
Compressing an image or idea into only 17 syllables is what makes a haiku most challenging to compose. Haiku. Haiku. What is the region of origin? This word is from Japanese. H-E-I-C-K-O-O, -O, haiku. The correct spelling is H-A-I-K-U. <clears throat> this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is mutable. It's an adjective and it means open to debate or debatable. May you please repeat it? Mutable. What is the root? Um, well, it consists of an English part and an English combining form. Mutable, M-U-T-E-A-B-L-E. The correct spelling is M-O-O-T-A-B-L-E. Your word is Frankenstein. <clears throat> Frankenstein, F-R-A-N-K-E-N-S-T-E-I-N, -E Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Your word is gondola. Gondola. G-O-N-D-L-A, gondola. The correct spelling is G-O-N-D-O-L-A. Your word is hydrology. Hydrology. Mm -hmm. H-Y. G R O L O G Y, hygrology. Mm, yeah. The correct spelling is H Y D R O L O G Y. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is pundit. It's a noun and it means an authority or one who announces judgments opinions or conclusions in an authoritative manner or critic. The word is pundit. Can I please have the origin of the word? This word went from Sanskrit to Hindi before becoming English. Can you please repeat the word? Pundit. Pundit. P-U-N-D-I-T. Pundit. Your word is kahuna. What's the language of origin? <clears throat> this word is from a Hawaiian word. Can I have it in a sentence? Mm -hmm. A kahuna is regarded as a guardian of healing secrets. Kahuna, K-A-H-U-N-A. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is topography. It is a noun, and it means the art or practice of graphic delineation in detail, usually on maps or charts, of selected natural and man-made features of a place or region, especially in a way to show their relative positions and elevations. Topography. T. O, P, A, R, 
G R A P H Y. The correct spelling is T O P O G R A P H Y. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is jackal. It is a noun, and it means any of several small wild dogs of the old world, less daring than wolves, sometimes hunting in packs, but more usually singly or in pairs, and feeding on carrion and small animals. Can you please repeat the word? Jackal. Jackal, J-A-C-K-A-L, jackal. Your word is obstinate. <clears throat> obstinate. O B S T E N E N T. Obstinate. The correct spelling is O B S T I N A T E. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is rotunda. It is a noun, and it means a round building, especially one that is round both outside and inside and is covered by a dome. Rotunda, R-O-T-U-N-D-A. Mm -hmm. Your word is semantics. Semantics. S A M A N T I C E S. The correct spelling is S E M A N T I C S. Your word is persimmon. Persimmon. P E R S I M M O N. Your word is enthusiasm. Uh, may I please have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. Enthusiasm. E N T H U S I A S M enthusiasm. Okay, number one seventeen. Your word is Nirvana. N I R V A N A Nirvana. Your word is pumpernickel. Pumpernickel. P U M P E R N I C K L E. Pumpernickel. The correct spelling is P U M P E R N I C K E L. Your word is analysis. Analysis. Mm -hmm. A N A Y L I S I S. The correct spelling is A-N-A-L-Y-S-I-S. -S. Okay, number 121, your word is vendetta. Vendetta, mm -hmm. V-E-N-D, 
E T T A Vendetta. Your word is Kremlin. Can you please repeat the word? Kremlin. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Bruce hiked to the ancient Kremlin for the best view of the city. Kremlin, C-R-E-M-L-I-N, Kremlin. The correct spelling is K-R-E-M-L-I-N. All right, that concludes round three. Let's hear it once again for all of our spellers today. Fantastic job this morning. We will get back to the action in the 2019 WIPB TV Spelling Bee in just a moment. But again, we'd like to thank some amazing sponsors. Avila Orthodontics, with offices in Muncie and Anderson, specializes in orthodontics. The right time to see Dr. Avila is when a question arises about the straightness of teeth and bite. An orthodontic exam by age 7 is recommended. Children can benefit from early orthodontic treatment with benefits of easier chewing and breathing and an overall more attractive face. Dr. Avila and his staff know every patient has different needs, so each patient's course of treatment will be specifically designed just for them. Dr. Harold Avila and his staff are proud to support programs on WIPB. There are returns to celebrate in your home. You've held them in your heart, but nothing compares to holding them. Mutual Bank offers home financing for veterans and their families. Bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. There are messes to be made in the home, and the best family moments are made in the mess. Mutual Bank offers financing for home buying. Bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Presenting sponsor, Family Vision Care and the Wink Gallery. Doctors David Wilson, Karen Nowakowski, Wendy Ashman, Joshua Greenlee, and Jeremy Gard and their staff are proud of all of our school spelling champs and wish them all the best of luck. The student who emerges as our spelling champion today will represent our region at the Scripps National Spelling Bee in Washington, D.C. For some of our spellers, this is the first time to be on stage at the Regional Spelling Bee. But Burris Laboratory School student Alicia Rothen Asami has been competing and winning her school bee since first grade. Last year, she won the WIPB Spelling Bee and went on to the National Spelling Bee. We had a chance to sit down with her to find out more about her experiences in D.C. and the preparation it takes to become a Spelling Bee champ. When I was in kindergarten, me and my friend, we both got special permission to do the school Spelling Bee. And that year, I got fifth place. And then starting from first grade until sixth grade now, I've won the school spelling bee each time and I've gone to regionals. And last year was my first time winning regionals. At first, when I first got to regionals, um, I was really scared and I didn't know what was gonna happen. But then as the rounds went by, it was a little less scary and I figured out, okay, I know these words, I know what to do here. E but then R. when she said, okay, now we're going to the surprise list, then I started to get scared again. And each time I wouldn't know which word I'm getting. Get but right then word. at the end, when I got the championship word, word Poland, Poland, I realized as soon as I heard the definition, I was like, okay, I know this word. I'm going to spell this right. Even though some people, Poland. even though they know the word, okay. like they can go really fast and then misspell it. Normally I like to look at the list and I like to do, I like to type them, but you can also write them. I like to do three times words, and then I like to find the definition of the word and type it up, and then I also make up my own sentence so I can make sure that I really know the word. And I like to split them up into days so that I'm not like learning too much one day and then not enough the next day so I can like remember all of them equally. We went on the plane. And as soon as we got there, we were driving in the taxi, and I saw the big Ferris wheel, and I saw the hotel, and I was like, wow, that's huge. And we got there, and then we went to registration, and I got this um, beekeeper that um, what you do is um, you sign you sign other people's, and then those people sign yours, and this is mine, and it shows your name, your like, sponsor, and then it says a little bit about you. And I thought that was really cool. 
And as you can see, mine's decorated because we had a Memorial Day barbecue. And when I went there, there were a lot of decorations for things and I decided to decorate my beekeeper. I still communicate with a lot of people that I met there. And it was really nice like seeing how like they were best friends there and there were like a lot of people like that. And that's what I really like, just like meeting the new people. And I liked how they had like different events there. And it was nice getting to just go around, walk around at nighttime after that. And it was a lot of fun. And my mom and I, we went on the Ferris wheel. The first night, um, we studied. And when it was finally time to go on stage, it was broken down into groups because there were more than 500 people. And I was in group two because my numbers was 160. The first round was basically like preliminaries. And so we went and we did the test and it was really hard. It was a lot of words we didn't know. There were spelling questions and there was vocabulary questions. And then you went to the stage and you did your word. It was really, really weird because there were like people standing there taking photographs of you and there were lights everywhere. And then you got to the microphone and it was crazy because Dr. Bailey was, he said hi to every single person, which was really nice because you just got to get a feel of how he was going to pronounce. And then he said the word and then it just all got real. I got the word Alna and I got it right. But then the next day, um, there you didn't know which word. Um, you didn't have any list. And I got the word psychometrician and I got that wrong. But then after that, that night was um, the time when they decided the finalists. So I was basically, I got out in the round right before the finalists. Make sure you look at your list and make sure you practice them and make sure you know the pronunciation because sometimes you may think that you know it, but then when it comes up, you don't know the pronunciation. And if not, then at least know the definition and make sure you study an equal amount at least three times a week so that you can't just go like 300 words this day and then 10 the next day, because you're not gonna remember those 300. You're gonna remember the 10, not the 300. Sounds like Alicia had a great time with her mom in DC and hopefully some of the young spellers watching today heard that wonderful advice about practicing those spelling words. While only one of the students will be named the 2019 WIPB Spelling Bee Champion today, each of our contestants will receive a Spelling Bee gift bag full of goodies provided by Indiana Academy, Ball State Teachers College, Avila Orthodontics, Sam Pierce Chevrolet, Dairy Queen of Muncie, Ivy Tech Community College, and Meridian Health Services. The top three spellers will also receive an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen of Muncie, a $25 gift card from Dave's Video of Muncie, and a $25 gift card from Terhune's McDonald's. In addition, the top two spellers will each receive a Ray-Ban sunglasses package from Family Vision Care. We'll be right back with more of the 2019 WIPB Spelling Bee. The employees of Navient, longtime sponsors of WIPB programs, wish our spellers the best of luck and hope the local champion brings back a win from Washington, D.C. Thank you to Navient for providing the 2019 Spelling Bee t-shirts. For over 20 years, Dr. Leland C. Wilhoyt has provided dental care for the entire family. Dr. Wilhoyt and his staff continue to offer dental service, including same-day one-visit crowns, implants, dentures, teeth whitening, veneers, smile makeovers, and same-day emergencies. A smile is a great personal asset. Dr. Leland Wilhoyt can help maintain and improve smiles. Proud to support dental health in our community and proud to support programs on WIPB-TV. Ball State's Teachers College prepares students for success in the field of education from classroom teachers to counselors to school administrators. Our mission is the excellent preparation of tomorrow's teachers and the enhancement of skills of today's education professionals through classroom training and meaningful experiential and immersive learning. Learn more about the many undergraduate and graduate programs at bsu.edu teachers. 
The spelling bee is about more than spelling a word correctly. It's about inspiring confidence, teaching lessons in sportsmanship, and helping students reach their goals. For the last two years, Ball State Teachers College has stepped in to support the WIPB Spelling Bee by funding the Scripps School Fees. Without the support of our sponsors, many schools would not be able to participate in the Spelling Bee due to budget limitations. We talked with Diana Kellermeyer, the Spelling Bee Coordinator at West J Middle School in Dunkirk, and their school Spelling Bee Champ, Dylan Plessinger, about the impact of this support. West J Middle School is made up of a lot of wonderful kids from Pinville, Red Key, and Dunkirk. But we are a sixth through eighth. There's a lot of great people here, and uh, you feel welcome no matter where in the school you are, whether it be in sixth grade wing, eighth grade wing, seventh grade wing. Uh, you make tons of friends. It's amazing. I wouldn't imagine going to school anywhere else. Every English classroom has a spelling bee. We have a winner and we have a runner-up for every period. And then those students will come to my room on the designated day and I run the spelling bee and we have probably about 30. We have about 30 kids that participate. I've got some kids that are so nervous they don't, they don't want to make it to the actual spelling bee. I've got other kids that um, that's something that intrigues them. Uh, this year, it, I really, really enjoyed when we got down to the winner and the runner-up, the going back and forth and how much they really put into it and how much they really wanted it and how respectful they were. I didn't have luck in sixth grade. Um, I was like the first or second one out. Um, and then with the class spelling bees, I was the runner-up. When we got to the school spelling bee, I wanted to win and ended out on top and my winning word is catacombs. Hard work and determination come success. The sponsorship is key. It is, it is so important because there's no way that we would be able to do a spelling bee. And I think that it is such an investment into our community and the students. The school spelling bee, I think it's helped me a lot. I mean, it's helped me with my other classes. And I appreciate a school that uh, Mr. Craw, our principal, and all the teachers really supports this for the community to allow us to do um, special extracurricular activities to help us um, learn new words and help us find our own words. It's, I can't even explain it. I mean, I feel so thankful for the sponsors and everything for letting us do this. I think in life, a lot of us do not realize how much backing we get from some place and and every, every year that we do this, I'm amazed because I always go with my kids to the spelling bee and um, just to see the families and the parents and the students and then they've got all the big balloons and, and the um, bags that they have and you know the things that have been donated with that and people that have just given to it because it is a very good thing and it will make a difference and I think sometimes it's like we may never know, you know. It's it's going to be, you know, years down the road, and, and someone ends up in a career because maybe it wasn't just the spelling bee, but it was because they practiced and they worked hard, and that really that really helped them and added to their character. Thank you, Ball State Teachers College. We can't say it enough. Thank you so much to Ball State Teachers College and all of our community sponsors. You are helping each of the students here today spell success. Systems was founded in 1899 in Muncie as a book binding, printing, and accounting forms business. Today, Boyce Systems includes Boyce Forms, Computrol, and Keystone Software Divisions. Computrol specializes in financial and data management for school corporations throughout the state. Keystone focuses on accounting management for cities, towns, libraries, and utilities. At VoiceSystems.com, there is information about Computrol and Keystone software. Voice Systems is proud to support programs on WIPB. Family Vision Care proudly introduces eye exam technology for the entire family. OCT uses light waves to take cross-section pictures of the retina. With OCT, the doctors can see each of the retina's distinctive layers. OptoMap allows the doctor to capture more than 80% of the retina in one panoramic image. These technologies assist the doctors in detecting signs of eye disease and abnormalities earlier, 
or confirming that the retina is normal and healthy. The Doctors of Family Vision Care and the Wink Gallery, proud to support programs on WIPB-TV. Dr. Avila and his staff are committed to providing their patients orthodontic results with a great experience. Dr. Avila is also committed to providing support for health and educational activities in our community with offices in Anderson and Muncie. Thank you, Dr. Avila, from all of us at WIPB-TV. Okay, it looks like we're ready. Are we ready? Officials, spellers, wonderful. Looks like we are ready to start the next round. We are ready for round four. Let's begin with our first speller. Your word is syntax. Word repeat. Syntax. S definition. Yeah. It means sentence structure. We repeat the word. Syntax. Syntax. S-I-N-T-A-C-S. Syntax. The correct spelling is S-Y-N-T-A-X. Syntax. Yeah. Your word is juggernaut. Juggernaut. J-U-G-G-E-R-N-A-U-T. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is Autobahn. It's a noun, and it means a German, Swiss, or Austrian expressway. Autobahn. Can you, can you repeat the word? Autobahn. 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 A-U-T-O-B-O-N. Autobahn. The correct spelling is A-U-T-O. B A H N. Yeah. Your word is sequin. Sequin. S E Q U I N. Sequin. This word has a homonym. The word is palette. It's a noun, and it means a particular range, quality, or use of color. Palette. Can you use it in a sense? Mm-hmm. Monet used a, mar a much darker palette at the beginning of his painting career than he used in his later years. Palette. P-A-L-E-T. The correct spelling is P-A-L-E-T-T-E. -E. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is acme. It is a noun, and it means the highest point or stage as, a growth or, as of growth or development. Acme. Can I have the language of origin? This, is word, this word is from Greek. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Nope. Can you repeat the word? Acme. Acme. A C M E. Acme. Your word is ominous. Ominous. O M I N O U S. Ominous. Ominous. Your word is doctrinaire. <coughs> doctrinaire. D O C T R I N A I R E. Doctrinaire. Mm -hmm. Your word is knish. Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Russian to Yiddish. Kanish, K-N-I-S-H, Kanish. Your word is implement. Implement, I-M-P-L-E-M-E-N-T. Your word is suave. Suave, S-U-A-V-E, suave.
Your word is alleviate. Alleviate. A L L E V I A T E. This word has a near homonym. The word is flamenco. It is a noun and it means a vigorous rhythmic dance of Andalusia. Flamenco. F L A M E N T O. Your word is sallow. Sallow. May I please have the definition? Yes. Of a grayish, greenish yellow color suggesting sickliness, usually used of the skin or complexion. May I please have the language of origin? This word is originally English. Sallow. S A L L O W. Your word is cryptic. Cryptic. May I have the definition? Yes. Enigmatic, mysterious. C R Y P T I C, cryptic. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is providence. It is a noun and it means divine guidance or care. Providence. Providence. P R O V I D E N C E. Providence. Okay, that's the end of another round. We're going to move on to round five. <clears throat> Your word is Matic. Could you use it in a sentence? Yes. It took Mark three hours of hard work with a mattock and shovel to dig up the tree stump. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Mattock. M-A-D-I-C. Mattock. The correct spelling is M-A-T-T-O-C-K. Your word is incredulous. Incredulous. I N C R E D U L O U S. Incredulous. Your word is trajectory. Trajectory. Can I have the definition? Yes. The curve that a body, as a planet or comet in its orbit, a projectile in passing from muzzle to first point of impact or a rocket, describes in space. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Can you repeat the word? Trajectory. Trajectory. T R A J E C T O R why? Trajectory. Mm -hmm. Your word is protagonist. Protagonist. P R O T A G O N I S T. Protagonist. Mm -hmm. Your word is exuberant. Exuberant. <clears throat> e X. U B E R A N T exuberant. Your word is arsenal. Arsenal. A R S E N A L. Arsenal. Your word is angst. Angst. A-N-G-S-T. Your word is blithe. Blythe, B-L-I-T-H-E, blithe. Your word is hacienda. 
Hacienda. H A C I E N D A. Your word is megalopolis. Megalopolis. M E G A L O P O L I S. Your word is tantalize. May I please have the definition? Sure. To tease or torment by presenting something to the view, an exciting desire, but continually frustrating the expectations by keeping it out of reach. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from a Greek literary name. Tantalize. T-A-N-T-A-L-I-Z-E, tantalize. Good. Your word is sayonara. S-A-Y-O-N-A-R-A, -A sayonara. Go. Your word is adamant. Adamant. A D A M A N T, adamant. Okay, that's the end of round five. Let's hear it for our spellers. Great job, spellers. We'll be back to the action right after we thank a few great sponsors. Vision Care proudly introduces eye exam technology for the entire family. OCT uses light waves to take cross section pictures of the retina. With OCT, the doctors can see each of the retina's distinctive layers. OptoMap allows the doctor to capture more than 80% of the retina in one panoramic image. These technologies assist the doctors in detecting signs of eye disease and abnormalities earlier or confirming that the retina is normal and healthy. The Doctors of Family Vision Care and the Wink Gallery proud to support programs on WIPB TV. Voice Systems was founded in 1899 in Muncie as a book binding, printing, and accounting forms business. Today, Voice Systems includes Voice Forms, Computrol, and Keystone Software Divisions. Computrol specializes in financial and data management for school corporations throughout the state. Keystone focuses on accounting management for cities, towns, libraries, and utilities. At VoiceSystems.com, there is information about Computrol and Keystone Software. Voice Systems is proud to support programs on WIPB. Dr. Leland C. Wilhoyt DDS has been a long-standing supporter of WIPB-TV. Dr. Wilhoyt and his staff provide cosmetic and dental care for the entire family. More information at WilhoytFamilyDental.com. WIPB thanks Dr. Wilhoyt for his continued support of the WIPB Spelling Bee. Presenting sponsor Mutual Bank has been a huge supporter of education programs in the community and with WIPB-TV, and their support continues with sponsorship of the WIPB Spelling Bee. Mutual Bank offers many, many banking solutions. Find out more on their website, bankwithmutual.com, and the Mutual Bank mobile app. Thank you, Mutual Bank. And now we are ready to get back to the action. Round six begins now. This word has a near homonym. The word is hunta. It is a noun and it means a closely knit group of persons composing or dominating a government, especially after a revolutionary seizure of power. Hunta. Hunta. H U N T A. Hunta. The correct spelling is J U N T A. Your word is benevolent. Benevolent. Can I have a language of origin? The word is from a word that went from Latin to English. Can I have the definition? Yep. Marked by a kindly disposition to promote the happiness and prosperity of others or by generosity in and pleasure at doing good works. Benevolent. Can you repeat the word? Benevolent. Benevolent. B E N E V O L E N T, benevolent. Your word is maestro. Maestro, M A E S T R O, maestro. 
Your word is percolate. Percolate? <clears throat> What's the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Percolate. P U R C U L A T E. Percolate. The correct spelling is P E R C O L A T E. Your word is origami. Origami. O R I. G A M I, origami. Okay. Word 158, your word is machismo. Could you say it in a sentence? Yes. <laughs> the Olympic boxer raised his fist to the crowd in a display of machismo. Machismo. M A C H I S M O. Your word is alliteration. Alliteration? Alliteration. Alliteration. A-L-L-I-T-E-R-A-T-I-O-N, alliteration. Mm -hmm. This word has a near homonym. The word is Hamburg. It is a noun, and it means a man's hat of smooth finished felt with a stiff curled ribbon bound brim and a high tapered crown creased lengthwise. Homburg. Homburg. H-O-M-B-U-R-G. Your word is triumvirate. Triumvirate. T-R-I-U-M. V. I-R-E-N-T. The correct spelling is T-R-I-U-M-V-I-R-A-T-E. Your word is pitch blend. May I please have the definition? Yes. A brown to black mineral that has a distinctive luster contains radium, and is the chief or mineral source of uranium. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Pitch blend. P-I-T-C-H-B-L-E-N-D-E, -E. pitch blend. Your word is duenna. Duenna, D-U-E-N-N-A, duenna. Your word is consensus. Consensus, C-O-N-S-E-N-S-U-S, -E consensus. And that's the end of round six. We'll move right on to round seven. Your word is bravura. bravura. Can I have the definition? Yes, a show of daring or brilliancy. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Italian. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Yes, braveria, bravi sorry, braveria and bravera. Can I have the original pronunciation? Yeah, bravura. <laughs> bravura. Bravura. B R A V U R A. Bravura. Your word is gregarious. Gregarious. G R E G A R I O U S. Mm -hmm. Your word is clumpen. Can you please repeat the word? Yeah, clumpen. Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from a Dutch word. Can you please use it in a sentence? Mm -hmm. 
Phyllis wore Klumpen to school on International Day. Klumpen, K-L-O-M-P-E-N, Klumpen. Your word is impetuous. Impetuous, I-M-P-E-T-U-O-U-S. Your word is asterisk. Asterisk, mm -hmm. A-S-T-E-R-I-S-K, asterisk. Mm -hmm. Your word is babushka. Babushka, B-A-B-U-S-H-K-A. -A. Your word is omnivorous. Omnivorous, may I please have the definition? Yes, eating everything especially, feeding on both animal and vegetable substances. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Omnivorous. Mm -hmm. O-M-N-I-V-O-R-O-U-S, omnivorous. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is virtuosa. It's a noun, and it means a woman who excels in the technique of an art, especially one who is a musical performer, as on the violin or the piano. V-I-R-T-U-O-S-A, virtuosa. Mm -hmm. This word has a near homonym. The word is prodigal. It is an adjective and it means given to reckless extravagance, unrestrained in spending or using up one's means. Prodigal. Prodigal. P-R-O-D-I-G-A-L. Prodigal. All right, that's the end of round seven. Great job, spellers. We're gonna move right on to round eight. Yeah, okay. Okay, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is monotonous. It is an adjective, and it means having no change or variety, wearisomely uniform. Can you repeat the word? Monotonous. Can I have a language of origin? This word is from Greek. Monotonous. M-O-N-O-T-O-N. O U S, monotonous. This word has a homonym. The word is comma. It is a noun and it means enjoyment of the world of the senses constituting one of the goals of humans in Hinduism. Kama, K A M A, comma. Your word is pacifism. Can you please repeat the word? Pacifism. Pacifism. P-A-C-I-F-I-S-M. Pacifism. Your word is colloquial. Colloquial, C-O-L-L-O-Q-U-I-A-L. This word has a near homonym. The word is tariff. It is a noun and it means the duty or rate of duty imposed by a government on imported or exported goods for the production of revenue for the artificial fostering of home industries or as a means of coercing foreign governments to grant reciprocity privileges, tariff. Tariff, T-A-R-I-F-F, -F, tariff. Your word is sedilla. Sedilla, C-E-D-I-L-L-A. Okay, word 182, your word is erudite. 
May I please have the definition? <clears throat> yes. Characterized by a love of knowledge for its own sake, devoted to the pursuit of learning. I know this word. I almost had a small heart attack because I thought it was another word. <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath. Yep. Okay. May I please have the language of origin? Yes. This word is from a word that went from Latin to English. Erudite. E-R-U-D-I-T-E. -E, erudite. Your word is sevruga. Sevruga, S-E-V-R-U-G-A, sevruga. Your word is koan. Koan. Can you repeat the word? Koan. Can you say the definition, please? A paradox used in Zen Buddhism as an instrument of meditation in training monks to despair of an ultimate dependence upon reason and to force them into sudden intuitive enlightenment. Koan. K-O-A-N-N. -N. Koan. The correct spelling is K-O-A-N. That's the end of round eight. Great job, spellers. We'll be back for round nine right after we thank a few of our great sponsors. There are returns to celebrate in your home. You've held them in your heart, but nothing compares to holding them. Mutual Bank offers home financing for veterans and their families. Bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. There are messes to be made in the home, and the best family moments are made in the mess. Mutual Bank offers financing for home buying. Bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Ball State University's Teachers College supports our spellers by contributing the funds to help cover the Scripps fees for schools to participate. Thank you, Ball State Teachers College, for preparing our future teaching professionals and your support of the WIPB Spelling Bee 2019. Presenting sponsor, Family Vision Care and the Wink Gallery. Doctors David Wilson, Karen Nikowski, Wendy Ashman, Joshua Greenlee, and Jeremy Gard and their staff are proud of all of our school spelling champs and wish them all the best of luck. All right, we're back to the stage, which means we're back to the action. We're ready for round nine. Your word is antipasto. Antipasto. Can I have the definition? Any of various savory foods usually served as appetizers and hors d'oeuvre. Can you repeat the word? Antipasto. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Yes. Antipasto and antipasto. Can you repeat the original pronunciation? Yes. Antipasto. Antipasto. A N T I P A S T O, antipasto. Your word is endemic. Uh, repeat it, please. Endemic. Um, one more time. Endemic. E N D E M I C, endemic. Your word is samurai. Can you please repeat that? Samurai. Can I please have the language of origin? Yes, this word is from Japanese. Samurai. S-A-M-U-R-A-I. Samurai. Your word is Meister Singer. Can I have that in a sentence? Yes. Mr. Hines can trace his family tree back to a Bavarian Meistersinger born in 1498. Can I have the definition? A member of any of various German guilds, especially of the 15th and 16th centuries formed for the cultivation of poetry and music. Meistersinger. Mm -hmm. 
M E I S T E R S I N G E R. Your word is amenable. Amenable? A M E N A B L E, amenable. Your word is nabob. Nabob. N A B O B. Your word is ergonomic. May I please have the um, language of origin? Both parts of this word are originally Greek. Um, may I please have the definition? Of or relating to the applied science of the relationship between people and their working environment. Please repeat the word. Ergonomic. Ergonomic. E-R-G-O-N-O-M-I-C, ergonomic. Mm -hmm. Your word is Azure. A Z U R E, Azure. All right, that's the end of round nine. We're going to move right on to round 10. Your word is capitulation. Capitulation. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. Can I have the definition? The act or agreement of one that surrenders to an enemy upon stipulated terms. Can you repeat the word? Capitulation. Capitulation. C-A-P-I-T-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. Capitulation. Your word is philanthropy. Philanthropy. P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H-R-O-P-Y, philanthropy. Your word is julep. Can you please repeat the word? Julep. Can you please give me the language of origin? This word is from a Persian word that went into Arabic and then French. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. A mint julep is often served in an extraordinarily tall glass. Can I please have the definition? Yes. A tall drink consisting of bourbon, sugar, and mint served in a frosted tumbler filled with finely crushed ice. Julep. J-U-L-E-P. Julep. Because we want to teach them that. I know. <laughs> Your word is entourage. Can I have the definition? Yes. One's attendants or subordinates. Entourage. A-N-T-R-O-A-G-E. The correct spelling is E-N-T-O-U-R-A-G-E. -E. Your word is perfidy. Perfidy? Mm -hmm. P-E-R-F-I-D-Y. Perfidy. Your word is gulag. Gulag. G-U-L-A-G. Your word is prerogative. May I please have the language of origin? Yes, this word is from Latin. Prerogative. P-R-E-R-O-G. A-T-I-V-E, prerogative. Your word is finesse. F-I-N-E-S-S-E, -S -S -E, finesse. All right, that ends round 10. Let's go ahead and move on to round 11. Your word is amicable. Amicable. Can I have the language of origin? Yes, this word is from Latin. Can I have the definition? Yes. 
characterized by friendship and goodwill. Can I have the part of speech? It is an adjective. Can you repeat the word? Amicable. Amicable. A M I C A B L E. Amicable. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is nadir. It is a noun and it means the point of the celestial sphere that is directly opposite the zenith and vertically downward from the observer. Um, can you repeat the word? Nadir. N-A-D-I-R, nadir. Your word is salve. Can you please repeat the word? Salve. Can I have the language of origin, please? This word is originally English. Can you please use it in a sentence? Yes. Jason's grandmother prepared a mustard oil salve and applied it to his injured arm. Salve, S-A-V-E, salve. The correct spelling is S-A-L-V-E. Your word is precocious. Precocious? Mm -hmm. P-R-E-C-O-C-I-O-U-S, precocious. Yep. Your word is kudzu. Kudzu. K-U-D-Z-U. This word has a near homonym. The word is muslin. It is a noun and it means a plain woven cotton fabric that is used bleached or unbleached for sheeting, embroidery, or other purposes. My please have it in a sentence. <laughs> yeah. This simple look of tab curtains made of unbleached muslin is perfect for Barbara's den. Muslin. M-U-S-L-I-N, muslin. Okay, word 208. We are, your word is ostentatious. Ostentatious. O-S-T-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-U-S, ostentatious. Okay. That'll do it for round 11. We're gonna move on to round 12. Your word is verboten. Verboten. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from an originally German word. Verboten. Are there any alternate pronunciations? Yeah. Verboten. 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 Can I have the definition? Forbidden, especially prohibited by dictate. Can you repeat the word? Verboten. Verboten. V E R B O T E N, verboten. Your word is Bachstein. Bachstein, B A C K S T E I N, Bachstein. Your word is sorti. Sorti? S-O-R-T-I-E, sorti. This word has a near homonym. The word is wanton. It's an adjective and it means marked by or manifesting heedless disregard of justice or of the right safety and feelings of others. Wanton. Wanton. W-A-N-T-O-N. Your word is magnanimous. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from Latin. May I please have it in a sentence? Simone's sister does not share Simone's magnanimous attitude toward the homeless. Magnanimous. M-A-G-N. 
A N I M O U S, magnanimous. Your word is flamboyant. F L A M B O Y A N T, flamboyant. That concludes round 12. Great job, spellers. Wonderful. We're going to move on to round 13. Your word is samovar. Samovar. Can I have the language of origin? Yes, this word is from Russian. Can I have the definition? Yep. A usually copper urn with a spigot at its base and a central tube for live charcoal used especially in Russia to boil water for tea. Can you repeat the word? Samovar. Samovar. S-A-M-O-V-A-R. Samovar. Your word is dressage. Dressage. D-R-E-S-S-A-G-E. -S -S -E. Dressage. Your word is poltergeist. Poltergeist? Mm -hmm. P-O-L-T-E-R-G-E-I-S-T. -E -E poltergeist. Your word is precipice. Precipice. P R E C I P I C E. Your word is mystique. May I please have language of origin? Yes. This word is from an originally Greek word that passed into Latin and then French. Mystique. M Y S T I Q U E. Mystique. Mm -hmm. Your word is quinine. Q U I N I N E, quinine. Wonderful, that's the end of round 13. Let's give our spellers a quick break while we thank a few sponsors. Voice Systems has long been an underwriter of WIPB TV. Thanks to Voice Systems for helping provide support for the WIPB Spelling Bee 2019. Mike Gallagher and his team at Voice Systems wish all of our spellers good luck. And Dr. Leland C. Wilhoyt DDS has been a longstanding supporter of WIPB TV. Dr. Wilhoyt and his staff provide cosmetic and dental care for the entire family. More information at WilhoytFamilyDental.com. WIPB thanks Dr. Wilhoyt for his continued support of the WIPB Regional Spelling Bee. Ooh, we have a fun fact, everybody. In 2017, five-year-old Edith Fuller becomes the youngest to ever qualify for the national finals. Five years old. That is amazing. That is indeed a fun fact and an amazing fact. And we are back to our amazing spellers on our own stage. And we're ready for the next round, round 13. <laughs> Your word is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, can I have language of origin? Yes. This word is from a French word that is perhaps from a geographical name. Can I have the definition? Mm -hmm. A semi-solid dressing made by emulsifying a mixture of raw eggs or egg yolks, vegetable oil, and vinegar or lemon juice, usually together with salt and condiments. Mayonnaise. M-A-Y-O-N-N-A-I. S E mayonnaise. Your word is hedonism. Hedonism. H E D O N I S M. Hedonism. Your word is azimuth. A Z I M U T H. Azimuth. This word has an ear homonym. The word is Inselberg. 
It is a noun and it means an isolated mountain partly buried by the debris derived from and overlapping its slopes. Inselberg. Inselberg. I-N-S-E-L-B-E-R-G. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is Cossack. It is a noun and it means a member of a favored military caste of Russian frontiersmen and border guards in Tsarist Russia who played an important part in Russian expansion. Cossack. C-O-S-S-A-C-K. Cossack. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is opossum. It is a noun and it means an omnivorous, largely nocturnal and arboreal mammal that has a prehensile tail and an abdominal patch to which the young are transferred at birth and that reputedly feigns death when startled or alarmed. Opossum. O P O S S U M. Opossum. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the end of the round. We're going to move right on to round 15. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is cachet. It is a noun and it means a characteristic feature or quality conferring prestige or distinction or inspiring respect. Cachet. Cachet, can I add the language of origin? This word is from a French word. Cachet. C-A-C-H-E-T, cachet. Your word is anomaly. Anomaly, A-N-O-M-A-L-Y, anomaly. Your word is cordovan. Cordovan, C-O-R-D-O-V-A-N, cordovan. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is hyperbole. It is a noun and it means extravagant exaggeration that represents something as much greater or less better or worse or more intense than it really is or that depicts the impossible as actual. Hyperbole, H-Y-P-E-R-B-O-L-E. -E. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is tamarind. It is a noun and it means the fruit of a widely cultivated tropical tree that has seeds that are cooked and also ground into meal. Tamarind. T-A-M-A-R-I-N-D. Tamarind. Your word is guillotine. G-U-I-L-L-O. T-I-N-E, guillotine. That's the end of 15, moving right on to round 16. Your word is maladroit. Maladroit, can I have the language of origin? This word is from a French word. Maladroit, can I have the definition? Revealing a lack of perception, judgment, or finesse. Can you repeat the word? Maladroit. Maladroit, mm -hmm. M-A-L. A D R O I T. Maladroit. Your word is borzoi. Borzoi. B O R Z O I. Borzoi. Wow. I know. No biggie. Your word is serdab. Serdab, sorry, Serdab. S-E-R-D-A-B, Serdab. Oops. Your word is indigenous. Indigenous, I-N-D-I-G-E-N-O-U-S. Under word 238, your word is ephemeral. May I please have the language of origin? This word is from Greek. Ephemeral. 
Uh, may, I, uh, may I please have it in a sentence? Yeah. After their hard-fought championship game, the winning soccer team found that their bruises were ephemeral, but their pride was long-lasting. Ephemeral. E P H E. May I, may, I, may I please repeat it again? Yes. Ephemeral. Ephemeral. Like I asked you to repeat it. Oh yes, sorry. Ephemeral. I will spell it again. Mm -hmm. Ephemeral. E P H E R M A L. Ephemeral. The correct spelling is E P H E M E R A L. You like my fellow spellers. <laughs> Thank you. Ready for round nope, seven? Not no, yet. Nope. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Andrew, apologize, buddy. <laughs> You'll get a chance. You got All right. a free pass. You didn't want to take it. <laughs> Your word is virgule. V I R G U L E, virgule. Okay. Now got it that time, Andrew. Yeah, at the end of 16, we're going right on with 17. Again, right? Yes. Okay. Your word is misogynist. Misogynist. Mm -hmm. Can I have the language of origin? This, the first part of this word is originally Greek, and the second part is an English combining form. Can I have the definition? One who hates women. Misogynist. M I S O G Y N I S. T, misogynist. Your word is egregious. Um. Egregious, E-G-R-E-G-I-O-U-S, egregious. Your word is alchemy. Alchemy, A-L-C-H-E-M-Y, alchemy. Mm -hmm. Your word is belligerent. Belligerent, B-E-L-L-I. G E R E N T. Your word is anachronism. A N A C H R O N I S M. Anachronism. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the end of another round. We're going to move right on to round 18. Mm -hmm. Your word is fusillade. Fusillade. Can I have the language of origin? Yes, this word is from a French word. Can I have the definition? A number of shots fired simultaneously or in rapid succession, especially with small arms, a volley. Can you repeat the word? Fusillade. Fusillade. F-U-S-I-L-L-A-D-E. Fusillade. Mm -hmm. Your word is coffle. Coffle. C -O -F -F -L -E. C-O-F-F-L-E. Coffle. Mm -hmm. Your word is bromeliad. Bromeliad, B-R-O-M-E-L-I-A-D, bromeliad. Your word is nisei. Nisei, N-I-S-E-I. Your word is serendipity. S-E-R-E-N. D I P I T Y, serendipity. Great job, spellers. Moving on to round 19. Okay. Your word is facetious. 
facetious. Can I have the language of origin? This word came from French, which formed it from a Latin word. Can I have the definition? Yep. Characterized by pleasantry or levity, meant to be humorous or funny, not serious. Facetious. F A C E T I O U S. Facetious. Mm -hmm. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is charpoy. It's a noun and it means a bed consisting of a frame strung with tapes or light rope used especially in India. Charpoy, C-H-A-R-P-O-I, charpoy. The correct spelling is C-H-A-R-P-O-Y. Your word is Romaji. Romaji? Romaji? Romaji. Can I please have the language of origin? This word is from Japanese. R O M A J I Romaji. Mm -hmm. Your word is sassafras. Sassafras. S A S S A F R A S. Your word is commandante. C O M A N D A N T E, Commandante. Mm -hmm. That's the end of another round. We're going to move on to round 20. Yep. Your word is saboteur. Saboteur. Can I have the language saboteur. of origin? Sure. Uh, this word is from a French word, and actually I should have said saboteur. Can I have the definition? It means one who engages in willful, willful effort by indirect means to hinder, prevent, undeter, undo, or discredit. Saboteur? Yes. S-A-B-O-T-E-U-R. Saboteur. Mm -hmm. Your word is trotteria. T R A T T O R I A. Your word is detente. D E T E N T E. Okay. Moving to word two fifty nine. Your word is escargot. E S C A R G O T S Gargo. That'll do it for round 20. Round 21 starts now. Your word is conquistador. Conquistador. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a word that went from Latin to Spanish. Can I have the definition? Yes, a conqueror, specifically any one of the leaders in the Spanish conquest of America, especially of Mexico and Peru in the 16th century. Conquistador, C-O-N-Q-U-I-S-T-A-D-O-R, conquistador. Your word is euthanasia. Euthanasia, E-U-T-H-A-N-A-S-I-A, -A -A, euthanasia. Mm -hmm. Your word is glockenspiel. Glockenspiel, G-L-O-C-K-E-N-S-P-I-E-L. -E -E Your word is mnemonic. M N 
E. Wait, may I restart? Could you please repeat the word? Yes, the word is mnemonic. M N E M O N I C. Mnemonic. That's the end of 21. Let's go right to round 22. Your word is lahar. Lahar. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a Javanese word. Can I have the definition? Mm -hmm. A mud flow containing much volcanic debris. Can you repeat the word? Lahar. Lahar. L-A-H-A-R. Lahar. Your word is philippic. P-H-I-L-I-P-P-I-C, philippic. This word has a near homonym. The word is duan. It is a noun and it means a building where customs and duties are paid or collected and where vessels are entered and cleared. Duan, D-O-U-A-N-E. Your word is caballero. C-A-B-A-L-L-E-R-O, caballero. All right, we're gonna move on to our next round, round 23. Spanish in there and I forget. This word has a near homonym. The word is Wiccan. It is an adjective and it means of or relating to a religion that affirms the existence of supernatural power as magic and of both male and female deities who inhere, inhere in nature and that emphasizes ritual observance of seasonal and life cycles. Wiccan. Can I have the language of origin? Yeah, this word is originally English. Can you repeat the word? Wiccan. Wiccan. W I C. C A N, Wiccan. Under word 270, the word is Prabhu. P R A B H U, Prabhu. Your word is Commissar. C O M M I S S A R. This word could be confused with another word or with a similar word. The word is salam. It is a noun and it means a gesture made in token of respect or submission performed by bowing very low and placing the right palm on the forehead. Salam. S-A-L-A-A-M, salam. All right, that's the end of round 23. We're gonna give our spellers just a moment to relax while we thank a few of our wonderful sponsors. Family Vision Care proudly introduces eye exam technology for the entire family. OCT uses light waves to take cross-section pictures of the retina. With OCT, the doctors can see each of the retina's distinctive layers. OptoMap allows the doctor to capture more than 80% of the retina in one panoramic image. These technologies assist the doctors in detecting signs of eye disease and abnormalities earlier or confirming that the retina is normal and healthy. The Doctors of Family Vision Care and the Wink Gallery proud to support programs on WIPB-TV. There are returns to celebrate in your home. You've held them in your heart, but nothing compares to holding them. Mutual Bank offers home financing for veterans and their families. Bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. There are messes to be made in the home, and the best family moments are made in the mess. Mutual Bank offers financing for home buying. Bankwithmutual.com forward slash your home for more information. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Okay, we have a few fun facts. In 2015, Vanya Shivashankar spelled the longest winning word, Sharenshnight. Really, they would give me this, right? Sharen or whatever it is, but it is long and it is hard and there's no way I would have been able to spell it. Let's just say that. All right, we've got another fun fact as well, I believe. Oh no. <laughs> there 
there it is. In 1984, Daniel Greenblatt won with the shortest winning word to date, luge. That one I can do, absolutely. That other one, forget about it. Ball State's Teachers College prepares students for success in the field of education from classroom teachers to counselors to school administrators. Our mission is the excellent preparation of tomorrow's teachers and the enhancement of skills of today's education professionals through classroom training and meaningful experiential and immersive learning. Ball State's Teachers College is proud to support the spellers and schools participating in the WIPB Spelling Bee. Yep, all right, we're back to the stage and back for round 24. Your word is dossier. Dossier. Can I have the language of origin? This word is from a French word. Can I have the definition? Yes. An accumulation of records, reports, miscellaneous pertinent data, and documents bearing on a single subject of study or investigation, a file. Can you repeat the word? Dossier. Dossier. D-O-S-S-I-E-R. Dossier. Your word is Bildungsroman. Can you please repeat it? Bildungsroman. B-I-L-D-U-N-G-S-R-O-M-A-N. Your word is exacerbate. Exacerbate. Mm -hmm. E-X-A-C-E-R-B-A-T-E. -E. Your word is garçon. G-A-R-C-O-N, garçon. That's the end of round 24. <sighs> round 25 begins now. Are we gonna skip? Are we gonna move on? Okay. Should we tell them that? Yeah. Okay. All right. We are going to skip to the next round of words to the, um, so word 301. Okay. Uh, your word is front. Front. Can I have the definition? A face of a building, especially the face that contain, contains the principal in entrance. Can I have the language of origin? This word went from Latin to French to English. Can you repeat the word? Front. Front. Can I have the part of speech? It's a noun. Can you repeat the language of origin? The word went from Latin to French to English. Front. Mm -hmm. F-R-O-N-T, front. Mm -hmm. Your word is notebook. Notebook? Notebook. Can I please have the definition? Yeah. A book with blank pages used by students for taking notes during a class or lecture. Notebook, N-O-T-E-B-O-O-K, notebook. Your word is award. Award, A-W-A-R-D. Your word is dander. Dander, may I have the definition? Yes, anger, temper. May I have the language of origin? This word is an alteration of a word that probably consists of a part of unknown origin and a Scandinavian part. D-A-N-D-E-R, dander. That's the end of round 25. Round 26 begins now. This word has a near homonym. The word is title. It is a noun and it means a descriptive or general heading. Title, T-I-T-L-E, title. Title. 
Your word is tadpole. Tadpole? T A D P O L E. Tadpole? Yep. Your word is statement. Statement. S T A T E M E N T. This word has a near homonym. The word is dampen. It is a verb and it means to check or diminish the activity or vigor of, depress or dull, dampen. D A M P E N, dampen. Mm -hmm. That'll do it for round 26. Round 27 begins now. Your word is expand. Expand, can I have the definition? Yes, to increase the extent, size, number, volume, or scope of, enlarge. Can I have the part of speech? It's a verb. And can I have the language of origin? It's from Latin. Expand, mm -hmm. E, X, P, A, N, D, expand. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is boldness. It's a noun and it means the quality or state of showing a courageous, daring spirit, boldness. Boldness, B-O-L-D-N-E-S-S, -S, boldness. Mm -hmm. Your word is knowing. Knowing, K-N-O-W-I-N-G. Your word is backbencher. May I have the definition? A rank and file member of a legislature, especially such a member of the British House of Commons or House of Lords. Backbencher. Backbencher. Yes. B A C K B E N C H E R. Backbencher. Mm -hmm. Round 27. Round 28 begins now. Your word is crisscrossed. Crisscrossed? Mm -hmm. Can I have the definition? Yes. Passed back and forth through or over. Crisscrossed. Can I have the language of origin? Yes. This word is from a word that consists of an originally Greek part plus an originally Old Norse or Old Irish part. Crisscrossed? Crisscrossed. C R I S S C R O S S E D crisscross. Do you think these are hard? Okay. Your word is disgrace. Disgrace, can I please have the definition? Yes, something causing a fall from favor and approval. Disgrace, D-I-S-G-R-A-C-E, disgrace. Mm -hmm. This word has a homonym. The word is cobbles. It's a plural noun, and it means naturally rounded stones larger than pebbles and smaller than boulders used in paving a street or other construction. Cobbles. Cobbles, C-O-B-B-L-E-S. Mm -hmm. Your word is shambling. Shambling, S-H-A-M-B-L. I N G shambling. That's the end of round 28. 29 comes your way right now. Your word is tasteless. Tasteless. Can I have the definition? Having no flavor. Can I have the language of origin? The first part of this word is from a Latin word that passed through Anglo French before becoming English. And the second part is an English combining form. Tasteless. T. A S T E L E S S tasteless. Your word is cushions. 
Can I please have the definition? Yes. Bags or cases made typically of cloth, upholstery, or matting that are stuffed with a soft or resilient material and used for sitting, reclining, or kneeling. Can you please repeat the word? Cushions. C U S H I O N S cushions. Your word is ability. Ability. A B I L I T Y. Your word is furthermore. F U R T H E R. M-O-R-E, furthermore. Mm -hmm. That'll end another round. We're ready for round 30. Your word is property. Property, can I have the definition? Something that is or may be owned or possessed, specifically a piece of real estate. Can you repeat the word? Property. Property, P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y. Property. Your word is ally. Can I please have a definition? Hmm? Someone or something associated with another as a helper, auxiliary, supporter. Ally, A-L-L-Y, ally. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is oodles. It is a plural noun and it means great quantity or abundance. Oodles. O O D L E S. This word could also be confused with a similar word. The word is grout. It is a noun and it means mortar fluid thin enough to be poured and used for filling in spaces, as in the joints of masonry or brickwork. Grout. G R O U T grout. Mm -hmm. That's the end of round 30. Round 31 begins now. Here's another word that could be confused with a similar word crawdad. It is a noun and it means any of numerous freshwater crustaceans resembling the lobster, but usually much smaller in size. Are there any alternate pronunciations? No. Can I have the well, can I have the language of origin? Yes. This word is an alteration of a word of Germanic origin that passed through French to English. Can you repeat the word? Crawdad. Crawdad. C-R-O-D-A-D. -D. Crawdad. The correct spelling is C-R-A-W-D-A-D. Your word is uniform. Uniform? Mm -hmm. U-N-I-F-O-R-M, uniform. This word has a near homonym. The word is vermin. It is a plural noun. It means small, common, harmful animals, such as bed bugs and mice that tend to occur in great numbers and are difficult to control, vermin. Vermin, V-E-R-M-I-N. Your word is curtains. C-U-R-T-A-I-N-S, curtains. That's the end of round 31. Let's hear it for Alicia Roth and Asami, uh, who, just, who just left the competition, and we are down to our final three. Round 31 begins now. Yeah, they would get harder. Okay. Your word is wholesale. Wholesale? Wholesale. Can I please have the definition? Yes. In a manner of relating to or engaged in the sale of goods or commodities in quantity for resale. Wholesale. W-H-O-L-E-S-A-L-E. Wholesale. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is Kodak. It is a verb, and it means to take photographs with a small hand camera of the same name, Kodak. K 
K-O-D-A-K. <laughs> this word has a near homonym. The word is comedy. It's a noun and it means an amusing drama that typically has a happy ending. Comedy. C-O-M-E-D-Y. Comedy. All right. We're just going to move right on to the next round. Yes, right ahead. Could be confused with a similar word. It is middling. It's an adjective and it means falling between two extremes. Middling. Is there any other uh, pronunciations? No. Kind of the language of origin? Mm -hmm. This word is originally English. Can you please repeat the word? Middling. M-I-D-D-L-E-I-N-E. -D -D -E. The correct spelling is M-I-D-D-L-I-N-G. Wait right here. Just to make sure that they... Okay, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is ransom. It's a noun and it means the money, price, or consideration paid or demanded for the release of a captured person. Ransom. Ransom. R A N S O M. Yeah. Okay. This word could be confused with a similar word as well. Stopple. It is a noun and it means a plug for closing a finger hole in a flute to change the scale tone. Stopple. Stopple. S-T-O-P-P-L-E, stopple. Mm -hmm. Moving on to the next round. Your word is mummers. M-U-M-E-R-S. The correct spelling is M-U-M-M-E-R-S. Your word is cutthroat. C-U-T-T-H-R-O-A-T, -T -T cutthroat. Yes. Okay, we are ready for the championship word. The 2019 championship word is sponsored by the Muncie Optimist Club. Your word is stitched. Stitched. S T I T C H E D. Stitched. <laughs> that was a deep breath. And with that last word spelled correctly, we have a champion. Congratulations to all of our spellers. We are going to take a short break and come back to present the trophy and prize package to the 2019 WIPB Spelling Bee champion, Andrew Tony. Avila Orthodontics, with offices in Muncie and Anderson, specializes in orthodontics. The right time to see Dr. Avila is when a question arises about the straightness of teeth and bite. An orthodontic exam by age 7 is recommended. Children can benefit from early orthodontic treatment with benefits of easier chewing and breathing and an overall more attractive face. Dr. Avila and his staff know every patient has different needs, so each patient's course of treatment will be specifically designed just for them. Dr. Harold Avila and his staff are proud to support programs on WIPB. I've been lucky to be able to work with Motivate Our Minds to provide a spelling bee club for the kids there. Each week, the kids join me for games and activities designed to get them excited about spelling, become more comfortable with public speaking, and find motivation to participate in their own school bees. Club members get to show off their spelling skills during the Motivate Our Minds Celebrity Spelling Bee. Yes, there's a lot of spelling going on over there. Let's take a look. Motivate Our Minds is an after-school enrichment program for students who attend school in Delaware County. Um, so students come here in the after-school hours and they um, work on 
we provide homework support. Um, also, we provide academic enrichment, especially in the areas of literacy and math, because we know that those are important foundation skills to future success. Um, and then we have clubs for the kids, and one of the clubs we have is Spelling Bee Club. The Spelling Club is important because the kids, first of all, they need to learn how to spell accurately and how to use some strategies when they're uh, learning their spelling words. Um, but also, if a kid can spell a word, they can also read a word. So it also boosts their literacy skills and their reading ability. It's fun and it helps you do school and how you, it's like, so some of the words I learned here and the words I learned are words that we do at school. We have spelling tests and it's easier for me. We recently had the Motivate Our Minds uh, Celebrity Spelling Bee and that was really fun for the kids to be able to participate in that. Um, and some of our students were so excited to be on one of the teams. Um, so during the Spelling Bee they had super speller words and those are words that the kids have practiced in Spelling Bee Club. So they were really excited because they knew how to spell those words and they had so much confidence. Hi, My team was the Muncie Community Schools and Ball State University team and we won second place. Michelle has, this is her second year I think, um, coming here to motivate our minds and working with the kids on Spelling Club and she always has engaging and dynamic activities for the kids so of course everyone wants to come. She gives us a piece of paper and um, we're doing like words, like if you find the words, you know like underline them or circle them. We do word searches, we play spelling games. things. It's good. Like you get to like to spell um, words and if you got it wrong that's okay. It's fun but challenging and also fun. My favorite thing about spelling because is I get to learn how to spell new words that I haven't heard before and it's so awesome that I get to be here in this club. I'm thankful that I get to be in here in this club. Those are some wonderful students. I hope we will see them on this stage in the future. Until then, they are gearing up for their own club spelling bee in May. The employees of Navient, longtime sponsors of WIPB programs, wish our spellers the best of luck and hope the local champion brings back a win from Washington, D.C. Thank you, Navient, for providing the 2019 spelling bee t-shirts. Boyce Systems has been a longtime underwriter of WIPB TV. Thanks to Boyce Systems for helping provide support for the WIPB Regional Spelling Bee 2019. Mike Gallagher and his team at Boyce Systems wish all of our spellers good luck. And Ball State University Teachers College supports our spellers by contributing the funds to help cover the Scripps fees for schools to participate. Thank you, Ball State Teachers College, for preparing our future teaching professionals and your support of the WIPB Spelling Bee 2019. For over 20 years, Dr. Leland C. Wilhoyt has provided dental care for the entire family. Dr. Wilhoyt and his staff continue to offer dental service, including same-day one-visit crowns, implants, dentures, teeth whitening, veneers, smile makeovers, and same-day emergencies. A smile is a great personal asset. Dr. Leland Wilhoyt can help maintain and improve smiles. Proud to support dental health in our community and proud to support programs on WIPB TV. Oh, welcome back to the WIPB Regional Spelling Bee. We are now ready for the presentation of awards. Is everybody in the audience ready? for the presentation, our spellers ready? <laughs> Wonderful, but first we are going to chat with Anita Welch and she is the Associate Dean of the Ball State Teachers College. Uh, Anita, a lot of these students here, a lot of schools participating would not be here without the support of the Ball State Teachers College. Could you talk to us a little bit about why it was important for you to support the Spelling Bee this year? Well, these are our future. All these students, we will see them in years to come. And it is our obligation as educators to help them succeed in all their aspirations. Yeah, well, we could not thank you enough for your support, for making it possible for all of these schools to participate today. So what did you think of the competition? What were your thoughts as you, as you were watching all of these spellers spell words that at least for myself, there's no way I could spell ever? I would have been out in the first round. <laughs> 
as I'm sure a lot of people think the same thing. So thank you so much, Anita, and thank you to Ball State Teachers College again for providing such wonderful sponsorship for this amazing event. And I know you want to shake all of the hands of our, of our award winners, and so we will get to our awards right now. So um, if you want to, Anita, if you want to just hang with our judges for a second, and I'm going to pull our, our spellers up. Come on over here. Mahathi, okay, remind everybody your name, what school you go to, and what grade you're in. You want to scoot up right there, you go. My name is Mahathi Raju. I go to your town middle school, and I'm in eighth grade. And how many bees have you participated in? This, this is my first regional one. What? Wonderful. Well, congratulations. And so what did you think about the, the competition today? Were you nervous? Uh, did you find it, you know, fun and exciting? Give us some of your thoughts. I think I was a little nervous in the beginning, and then I got kind of better in, like throughout it. <laughs> well, are you ready for your trophy? Yeah. All right. Does someone want to present Mahathi with her trophy? Go ahead, Monique. All right. Let's hear it for Mahathi, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations. If you want to just step to the end and we'll move Trooper back up. All right, Trooper, I've seen you before, yeah. right? We've seen you here before. Trooper, remind everybody your full name, your school, and how old you are. My name is Trooper Bullock. I'm from West Elm Middle School, and I'm in sixth grade. Wonderful. And how many bees have you participated in, Trooper? This is my third regional. Third regional. Now, have you, have you placed in the top three before? No. Uh-oh. This is a party after today, wherever <laughs> his family is. Oh, I see ya. So the party is happening right after the bee today. So how did you feel up there today during the competition, Trooper? I was kind of nervous, but once I got kind of into the top ten, I was feeling good about it. You're feeling pretty confident? Yes. Wonderful. Well, congratulations, and let's get this man a trophy. Kamna, do you want to hand him the first runner-up trophy? Let's hear it for Trooper, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. All right, go shake the judges' hands, Trooper. They all want to meet you over there. All right, come on over, Andrew. How are you, buddy? Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> he's feeling good right now. Andrew, remind everybody uh, your full name, what school you go to, what grade you're in, sir. Andrew Tony, I go to Lee L. Driver Middle School, and I'm in seventh grade. All right, how many years have you participated in this? This is bee? my fifth regional B. Wow, let's hear it for Andrew for participating. Fifth year, that is amazing. Now, Andrew, I understand, what place did you come in last year? Refresh my memory. Second. You were second, and you went through the RSV. B program. You yes. actually attended the Scripps National B and participated. Tell us a little bit about that. I, it was really fun. The, when you go to like the reading of the rules and you see the stage for the first time, it's right. just, wow, it where is. am I? Yeah, it's a little overwhelming, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, but you had a fun experience. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You get to do it all over again, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> let's, get, let's get Andrew his, uh, his trophy. Stephanie? All right, let's hear it for Andrew, everybody. Congratulations, congratulations. And again, he will be uh, going to the Gaylord National Resort and Convention Center in National Harbor, Maryland, starting May 27th, with the onstage spelling bee competition taking place May 28th, 29th, and 30th. We want to give a special thanks to Sursa Performance Hall for hosting us today and the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Also, a big thanks Where's my officiating crew? Wave back there. All right, thanks to our officiating crew, Monique, Monique Armstrong, Kamna Agarwal, Stephanie Weekman, and our pronouncer, the toughest job in the history of the universe, Lynn Stallings. And thank you all of the families for watching. Thank everybody at home for watching on WIPB. And hello to everybody watching on Facebook. One more time, let's hear it for Andrew, Tony, and the rest of our finalists in the 2019 WIPB Spelling Bee. Thanks again. Bye, everybody. Vision Care and Mutual Bank, with support from Ball State University Teachers College, 
Additional funding provided by Avila Orthodontics, Boy Systems, Dr. Leland C. Wilhoyt, DDS, and Navient. Family Vision Care proudly introduces eye exam technology for the entire family. OCT uses light waves to take cross-section pictures of the retina. With OCT, the doctors can see each of the retina's distinctive layers. OptoMap allows the doctor to capture more than 80% of the retina in one panoramic image. These technologies assist the doctors in detecting signs of eye disease and abnormalities earlier or confirming that the retina is normal and healthy.